I'm maxing out over here at Erie Canal to give it a try so we can catch today. Today we're going to be fishing for carp, catfish, and pike. And whatever else bites, but mainly those species. And uh, today we got sweet corn for bait, and we got frozen chubs. And we're putting our bait traps in to see if we can catch some shiners, because they're a great bait. Okay, Max, let's give her a go and get baited up here. It's going to be 90 degrees today and above. So we're fishing early and leaving. Fish on. Big one on there. Fish on. Oh, darn it, he got off. Fish on. Fish on, a good one. It's a good one, boys. It's a good one, Max. We just reach on the water. Big carp here, boys. Big carp. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's oh, a big one? Takes a lot to tire these boys out. They're fighters. <laughs> we got him. We got him, boys. We got him. I'm out of breath. Oh, what a battle. We already lost one earlier, didn't we, Max? Look, it's a big one, Max. It's a big boy. Yeah. We're going to get a weight on it. Look at that boy. Nice healthy fish though. It's 13 pounds, almost 14. 13 pounds, almost 14. Well, it looks a lot bigger than that though. 29 and a half inches, 29 and a half inches. 13 to 14 pounds. Nice fish. Well, we're gonna release them in the net. We're gonna leave them right in the net and release them. All right, Max, let's take him down. Let's take him down here and we'll release him. Check our bait trap. See if we got any shiners. Oh yeah! Oh, wow! I don't know if you can see them, but boy, there's some shiners in there. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, some beauty. I bet there's 25, 30. I tell you, since I painted this camo, this has outdone the red one. But the red one works great. But this is really. This trap has caught me more bait in the last couple of weeks than I've caught in a year. And if you want to know how to paint your trap camo, look at my video on the, on the trap I just painted. This, this actually this trap right here. That bite. I just put one of those canal shiners on. You can see them in his mouth. There's a canal shiner. You just got a rock pass one. Oh, 
Okay. We'll put on another shiny. My other two poles, they got corn on those. For, for the big old carpets. But that was a catfish. But that was a catfish. Missed that one. It was a good bite though. He was, oh, he was taking it. Getting the bite. Oh, we got a fish on him. Fish on him. We got one. Pretty good one. Feels like a good one, boys. Looks like a big one, boys. Looks like a pretty good one. Got just that drink tomorrow. We want to get this baby in, don't we? Oh, it's a nice one. That's a big one, boy. Quite pretty good. It's hard to say how big he is, boy. Oh, yeah, I see him. The big boy. We're gonna let him go out some more. He's biting pretty darn good. We're gonna go down there after. Boy, most all of them hit this one pole. The trees, they all hit this one pole. Boy. It was like a pretty good one last month. I think he's going to get my other one. Oh. and then I have to cut it. He's about 10 pounds in here. I'm going to leave him in there. on our other pole. I'm trying to get this one off. Not a bad fish. We're going to let him go. Well, that was fun. That was fun catching. Boy, there. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Easy with you. Wasn't bleeding or anything. He's in good shape. Just got the hook caught in the net. I gotta cut it out. One thing with carp fishing, you wanna check your bait every 15 to 20 minutes. Now the corn was almost gone off. Both these hooks. And there was only like one piece of corn left in each one. I didn't even see it biting, so little fish can get it off. So you wanna check it every 15, 15 to 20 minutes and you'll get more fish. And make sure your, your hooks are full of corn. Well, Max and I are gonna be calling it a day, so thanks for watching our videos. May the good Lord take a liking to you. I'm gonna see you next time. And don't let the game vultures get you.